time to select the Hammers Players of the Year. In third place, new boy Trevor Morley. Runner-up is Stuart Slater, a young striker who's really captured the imagination of the Upton Park faithful. And the winner of the 1989-1990 West Ham Player of the Year trophy, Julian Dix. What an impact he's made in his very first season as skipper. The youngest West Ham captain since Bobby Moore, and a man with a lethal left foot. A popular choice with the fans. All three have made a big contribution to the Hammers season. Perhaps the biggest cheer, though, is reserved for Liam Brady. The popular Irishman has decided to call it a day at the age of 34. Chairman Martin Kearns wishes him well at the end of his three years at West Ham. West Ham United playing some attractive uh, football in the midfield. Haven't been able to get a decisive strike in yet. This is Slater to Allen. Keane. Good sway of the hips there, said uh, the opponent the wrong way. Oh, nice ball. This is Slater. He's got Allen there in support. There's the cross. Keane to Kevin Keane scores. What a goal. Absolutely brilliant. 18 minutes gone. It's West Ham United 1. Wolverhampton Wanderers still. And you won't get a better header than that. Keane. Controlled football this. Pops now. To Robson. Not a good ball from him, but Potts makes it. Oh, no, 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 no. through himself, he has the shot, oh, there it is, what a cracker, and that's just what he's been playing for. <laughs> 47 minutes gone, it's West Ham United 3, the Wolverhampton Wanderers nil. Jones now. to see him get on the score sheet. Let's fly. Oh, and he does so. Brilliant shot from Liam Brady. No wonder they're storming the pitch. Oh, will he ever survive that in this heat? He must be so choked emotionally anyway. And they're storming on from every angle. With just two minutes left for play, it's West Ham United 4, Wolverhampton Wanderers still. As far as the fans are concerned, most importantly, it's Liam Brady on the score sheet. What a way to sign off a spectacular career. A goal to match any from Brady's magnificent Hall of Fame. A perfect way to round off the West Ham season. The final verdict being, what a tough division it is in the second. I think so. I, I mean, I've, uh, not just as a manager, I've seen a lot of it, you know, and, um, just over the years. I've watched it, some of it. and. Uh, it's a tough league to get out of. I mean, the amount of games you're playing for a start makes it tough. You know, uh, our running at the end of the season, I think uh, two games a week for the last six, seven weeks. Uh, so the demands are, are there, you know, um, uh, and it is going to be a difficult league to get out of. But uh, having said that, I do know that people expect us to get out next year. I mean, that puts a little bit of pressure on, on you know, straight away because they've seen us annihilate Wolves last game of the season and they've gone home and said, well, Next year we're certainties, you know, we, I mean people were coming up to me and saying we're going as champions next year. But I wish it was as easy as that, you know. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll do our best, simple as that, which is all you can do. Do you think that's a bit unfair, Bill, because... No, I don't think it's unfair. I, mean, I, I think people will expect that. I think it's only what they've seen. They fancy our chances. Uh, I suppose if I was a, a, a supporter, I'd, I'd be saying the same thing. You know, I'd be saying, well, you know, we, we played well the last sort of... 18 odd games, you know, and we pushed ourselves right up the edge of the playoffs. Last two home games, we scored seven goals. They won against, and they did play well, the lads. And I tell you what, next year we're gonna, we'll get out of there, no problem. But uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't work like that, you know. Uh, hopefully it does, but uh, we'll see.